Okay, guys, I'm here today with Roberto Jimenez. Guys, Roberto is 18 years old and he did something that nobody has ever done. As the first year in the adult division, he was juvenile last year, so this year was the first year in the adult division. He won double gold in the words as a purple belt, tapping every match. So he did 10 matches and 10 submissions. So that's very, very, very impressive and very, very hard to do it. And he made it as an 18 years old, so he has a, like a brighter future coming up for him. And the, one of his main things is back takes. So we just shot one entire instruction with him all about back takes. And today he's gonna show us here one of his favorite ones that he used a ton in the words as well when he was purple. And I'm very excited to learn from him. Guys, he's brown but from Gaucho, his dad. Gaucho is his dad, he's black belt from Alliance. And uh, I, I bet he might be very proud now to see this little kid here. Let's go, let's do it. Let's Okay guys, so I'm here, we both have the, co the collar grips, I'm going to slide my hand to the cross collar and first I need to get rid of his gr collar grip. How I'm going to do that, I'm going to put the palm of my hand right on top of his wrist, I'm going to bring my forehead down and slide my leg back, all at the same time. From here I don't wait, I need to step in, I'm going to slide my right leg through and I'm going to get the collar drag. When I get here, I'm going to hug the leg and I'm going to use my fist on the collar to push his neck away. That's gonna help me to come up, but I don't go all the way with the intention of coming up. As soon as I see him off balance, I let go of it so I can hug the hip. My hand's gonna go all the way across to the collar, and my hand, other hand's gonna go under the armpit to the cross collar. To go to the other side, I need to stretch my arms forward and walk. When I get to the other side, I can hug him again. My left leg is outside, and it's gonna come in, and I'm gonna hook his leg. My right leg starts pushing back, and when, I, when he falls down, I cannot have my leg flat. I need to have my knee right on the hip. This is going to help me to push him down and get my hook in. From here, <laughs> you can either be Nutella and stay here and get the points, or if you want to finish the fight, you go over, get the collar grip, and you're just going to use your heel on the thigh and your knee to open up. Pull him across and choke. One more time. We're here, I'm gonna cross my collar, break the grip, step out, slide. I hug, I'm gonna push him up, and at the same time as I'm coming up, I let go of the leg and hug the hip. I'm gonna slide my hand all the way across, and I feed it. My hand goes under the armpit to the other collar, I stretch him forward, and I come to the other side. My right leg needs to be behind his leg. This is gonna help me to find the leg and be able to get the hook in. I'm gonna step back, Stop him with my knee on the hip. I push him down. Get the hook. Let's just change angle. Here, here, here. No problem. Here we go. Now have my grips right. If I want to keep the points, I stay here. If I want to go for the submission, as I'm pulling him across, I get the collar. Most people go like this, and then they try to get the collar grip. I think it's better as you're moving the person from side to side, you slide the collar grip. That way when he goes down, you come up on your elbow and you don't stretch. You bring your chest tight and your hands are going to go into his neck like a knife. And you get the choke. So guys, very cool what Roberto is doing here. And one thing that I noticed that he does very well here is when he breaks my grip here. Just break my grip, Roberto. When he breaks my grip, look how he points my hand down. So I can't move this arm anymore, right? Many people do grip like this. And then he's able to move the arm up. I noticed that he does this. I'll try to bring the arm up. Look, the arm gets stuck. So just keep going. We're gonna, so he's gonna break the grip. Now he's gonna go to the collar drag. And guys, second thing here. He's gonna pretend that he's gonna come up with the single leg, but he wants to go to my back. So he lifts the leg and control my, my hip here. Now look what he does. He goes all the way down to the opposite side, switching the arms. And now he does a very cool thing with his leg as well. Instead of just throwing the hook, he goes with his leg all the way down across and he uses this leg here to support. Look. And then falls. Now he's pretty much on my back already. It's hard for me to defend because he has the buff arms under my arm. He plays the second hook. 
And now he goes to the choke, and this detail that he showed about going to the choke was very cool as well. So he's sweet. Can you explain that again, Roberto? Yeah. So at the same time as I'm pulling him to the side, I get the collar grip. The reason why is because it's going to help me to build up momentum and come up for the choke. So I'm here, I pull him, I bring my hand across, and I keep using my legs to pull him. When I'm here, I come up on my elbow. If I can finish it like this, cool. But the reason why I do that is to build momentum and take my hook out, and I keep going forward. Most people like to keep defending in the turtle, turtle position. That's when I bring my, my foot over the shoulder. And that's when I usually finish. Yeah, so guys, this last detail he showed like, that he creates momentum was very good as well. Because many times, I struggle, for example, to get a choke from there. But he starts from the other side, and then when he gets to the side that he wants, the choke is already like really tight. So it's very good. Thank you, Overachim. Thank you, Renan. Awesome.